Hi cuties, Wendy here. Today we're gonna to draw Rowlet from Pokemon. If you guys love Pokemon, please make sure to check out my Draw So Cute Pokemon playlist. Now get your Sharpie or your pencil and your piece of paper ready and let's get started. To draw Rowlet, let's start by drawing its beak. So I'm gonna come right here and draw a long oval. There. And then I'm gonna to come towards the bottom and draw kind of like a wide V. So I'm gonna stop at the center and go back up. And then right here in the center, I'm just gonna add a little line. So then let's come to the center right here. Just give yourself two little points, top and bottom. And from there, we're gonna draw a big circle. So that's where the eyes are gonna be. So I'm just gonna come up here and draw big curve all the way back. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. It's kind of like drawing a heart. So I'm just gonna kind of make sure it's kind of at the same level and just keep going around. And don't worry if it's not the same on both sides. It's not going to be. <laughs> we just don't want it to be too lopsided one too big or one too small. So just kind of eyeball it and then connect it. There. So then from there, we're gonna come in the center area right here and draw another oval for the eye. So it's gonna be smaller than the beak. So about right here, I'll start. Just draw another oval. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So about right here. And then let's go in here and make them draw so cute eyes. So we're gonna put two ovals inside and a curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. There, now I have the eyes and the beacon. Now we're gonna come and draw the body, so on the top of the head. So let's start maybe the center of this eye area. We're gonna come out just a tiny bit, about right there in our center. We're just gonna aim to draw a big dome over this. So I'm just gonna come right here, close to the eye. And I'm gonna aim to the center, about right here, to be my highest point. So about right there, and then I'm gonna start coming down all the way just like the other side close to the eye and about right there I'll stop it's the same level and then right there I'll start to connect this round it off and slowly build the body so before we finish that let's come back to the center right here and draw the little leaf bow so I'm going to come down give myself a point maybe about right here so I'm going to draw two leaves. So this is my center. I'm just going to go up really close to that curve, come out, and bring it back in. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. So get really close to that curve and connect it. And then right here in the center, just draw two curves for some details. And then now we can go ahead and finish the body right here on the wings. So I'm gonna come right here, come down. So it's kind of like drawing a ball shape. So we're gonna go around. And about in this area right here, I'm gonna draw tip of one, the, the wing right here, the tip. I'm gonna go up, a bigger one, and then a smaller one right here and tuck it right in. And you come in here with detail, just draw a little line. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. So we're going to go around. 
So I'm just going to give myself a point so I kind of know where I ended. So about in this area. And now from here at that point, I'm going to go up just like the other side. Round it off and go in. And then once again right here, I'm going to tuck in the smaller tip. And a curved line right there. And then let's come in right here and just connect it with a curve to complete the body all the way back there. <laughs> and then now the feet. So right here, I'm going to come about this area right here and draw a curve that comes out. So just two little points for the feet and in. So same thing over here. So centering it so about right there. Just make sure I'm at about the same level. So one and another one. And then if you want, you can draw a little tail indication of the tail right here in the center of it if you want. Just to add some more color. So right in the center, I'm going to stop and go up. There. So now that we're done drawing Rowlet, let's go ahead and color it. So there, I hope you guys love this cute little owl drawing from Pokemon and it inspires you to give it a try. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any new Jurassic Q videos. See you later.